the major use of this uh, 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 analytics curve has ch changed from structured data to leveraging unstructured data. So traditionally, uh, most of this enterprise applications, uh, the data is stored in a you know, structured way, in a tabular way. Now, when we do credit risk, right, a lot of assessments have been done by uh, credit reviewers, uh, you know, because large one is, you know, uh, uh, credit of retail, which is very systematic and data driven, which is like uh, large volumes, low ticket size. But for high volume, low ticket size, it's very nuanced. For example, you know, when you give a loan for a credit card, it's so simple because credit card is a retail product. You don't need much decisioning of a reviewer. It's all machine driven and rule driven. But when you're trying to give a house loan, there is a nuanced way of assessing the property because you're going from unsecured to secured and there is the ticket size increases. Similarly, when you go from house loan to commercial loans, which is large office buildings, large malls. Again, the assessment cannot be purely based on numbers. The numbers do play a critical role, but there are quantitative and qualitative factors and the underwriters and the reviewers will do a thorough assessment before providing any credit to large corporates. And when those things happen, you require a mix of, uh, you know, structured data analytics as well as, you know, leveraging a lot. What we are trying to do is unstructured data, how to summarize. So with the advent of LLM, we try to summarize, uh, uh, you know, reviewers which were written on a, you know, uh, typed and uh, given a qualitative assessments. So we try to bring a framework 